What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. You saw the title, man. I really just want to put out um, a quick video on this album because I've been a huge fan of Code Orange ever since I found them back when I was in high school. Back when they were still Code Orange kids, bro. That's crazy. Um, <clears throat> but in most recent memory, Code Orange has actually been one of the bands leading that revival of early 2000s metal, like some new metal, some dad rock, throwing that shit in there. And low-key... It's been great. They've been throwing their little spin on it and like making it experimental and just like really futuristic. Like I've really been fucking with it. So obviously I was super excited to hear this new album. But unfortunately on this new album, like uh, it kind of sounds like they're a cover band. But if they were a cover band, that was like an amalgamation of all the bands that people like either liked or hated back in the early 2000s you know what i'm saying like limp biscuit not as much limp biscuit i feel more like you know you got you got some smashing pumpkins in there literally with billy corgan on one of the songs and you got like ooh, indigestion more new metal tracks that remind me of like cold chamber and shit like that um Low-key, I'm kind of biased because if you know me, you know that I love that genre and I will defend it till the end of time. I think it's great. But on this track or on this album, it doesn't sound as forward thinking as it did on their previous record. Kind of sounds a little bit more recycled. There's also some production choices that I wasn't a huge fan of if I'm keeping it a thousand. I always think it's kind of dumb when people nitpick a uh, production detail because you never know like what the artist was specifically going for. I know that I definitely have tracks where the production is bad on purpose. So it feels weird to say that, but I'm saying it. <laughs> Oh my god, y'all. Okay, I'm drinking this this like lung detox tea, and it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of fucking a nigga up real quick. What the fuck? Anyway, um, another thing that I wanted to be honest about is some of the clean vocals on this album didn't really hit for me. For me personally, there are some bangers on here though. There are some bangers like "Grooming Your Replacement." I thought it was fantastic. Um. Uh, the other song, the other song, uh, two, uh, that I'm forgetting also is fantastic. <laughs> um, but low key, that's the issue is a lot of these songs didn't really stick in my memory like that. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, you got the song with Billy Corden, you got, um, a couple other here and there. What is that one, dude? It's driving me crazy, whatever. But I thought this record was just okay. For cold orange standards and honestly as someone who loves new metal and like is in love with the early 2000s that's like my favorite era you know what i'm saying um i feel like me being biased on that is helping this album out a lot i feel like there's a lot of people that never even realized that this genre was actually tight and they're just like listening to this and they're like what the fuck is this <laughs> so like if you think that this is ass and you're someone who likes new metal, imagine how someone feels that doesn't even like new metal and is hearing this, bro. Like, crazy to think about. But I give it a bias 6 out of 10 because I love new metal and no matter who's doing it, low key, I'll give it a chance and I'll probably like it. I love that genre. I just wish. I really wish that they were doing more with it and putting their own spin on it in a more code orangey way. Because they've done that before and it's been fantastic. They've definitely gone in this like less heavy direction though also recently, which is okay. I don't give a fuck, but at least make it good. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to pull a Bring Me the Horizon, at least pull a Bring Me the Horizon and make it good. You feel me? But... I'm feeling a 6 out of 10 on this one. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for all the subscribers lately. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. I got more reviews coming down the pipe for you guys soon. Pause. Also, hope you're smoking along with me, staying high with me, staying hydrated with me. We are smoking on this Apple Runts still because tis the season, you know what I'm saying? Um, Halloween week is coming up, so make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss that. Spooky season reviews dropping every day. Horror movie reviews dropping every day that week. So it's going to be crazy. Anyway, if you're smoking along with me, now's your chance. Let's fire it up. 
and I'll see you guys in the next one. What you think of the new bees? <laughs> <coughs> I think her name is Sarah Silverman. It's still Free Palestine, though. I'll see you guys in the next one. I love y'all. Peace.